Grab your coat and get your hat Leave your wallet on the doorstep Just direct your feet To the sunny side of the street Can't you hear a fiddle pack? And that happy tune is your step And life can be so sweet On the sunny side of the street Jane Butters has held a lifelong dream to sing jazz. Over these two days, her dream came true. This film follows the making of her first CD, Nosedown. Well, the thing was that I made up these tunes in New Zealand and I was desperate to get them down and Tom Finney came along and we had about five in New Zealand and then I almost every day I seemed to come up with a new song and I wake up at three o'clock in the morning I have a rush up here to the piano and, and um, get the wee notes down and Tom would come around and put the, the chords to them and then he said, look, you know, you ought to um, just record this, you know, just because it's a period of your life. So I thought, oh, I don't know about this. He said, oh, yeah, you know, let me know next week. So I thought, all right, OK, you know, why not? Might be dead tomorrow. And it's quite funny because we had some friends staying and they didn't know what was going on because this has been a complete secret. And still, to most of my friends, they have no idea what I'm doing. And they're saying, why have you not been playing golf? And, you know, I'm saying this is the first time I've been out in the tennis court. What are you doing? And they say, oh, Jane's got sore knees. She hasn't been able to play. And I think, oh, well, you know, fine. We sat down and uh, sort of wrote 
or I tried various chords and harmonies and she said yeah that'll do or that won't do no I don't like the sound of that so we arrived at a consensus of what was good and so these songs were maybe about 12 of them were finished and she said well what do I do now with these and I said well maybe the idea is to record them the formal piano lessons till I was about uh, 17 but I hated it and I had learnt very little from that aspect of it and gave it up because in a piano teacher used to get a pencil and stub your finger when it, when you hit a wrong note you know it's a real sort of school of hard knocks. Jane as you know she's uh, a good heart and she's always very much in, the, in charitable work and she said to me I'd like to help some musicians who you know are worse off than myself so I picked the charity the Institute for Distressed Musicians and I asked them you know could you what what really are your worst cases? So they gave me three names and I phoned them up and told them to be there at the appointed day. So now I know, well, Roy, he's really that, he's a very worrying case. One of their worst, in fact. Uh, he plays the bass, but he's no idea what he's doing. You know, he, he wishes he was George Roby, the old Victorian comic. In fact, he looks extremely like him and I fact I think he's turning into George Ruby the way he looks when he plays he's no idea what he's doing but he's just thumping away but it's usually he's basket making and all that so it's better that he's you know playing the bass and that's fine Colin well he's got uh, a very unusual disease it's musical epilepsy where when he plays he sort of squirms about like that now that's whenever he's been watched by young girls between the ages of 16 and 20, this seems to come on, it's, it's, it triggers it off, so it's, it's quite an unusual one. In fact, we don't know of any other further cases. Bob Stewart, well, he usually spends his time naked in one large room with a tambourine just banging it for 24 hours a day. They weren't even going to let him out. <laughs> I said, give him a break, the guys. So we brought him in, he sat behind the kit and you know, he wasn't too bad. Sometimes he was on the beat. He was, you know, he was, he was doing okay. So, so they had a great day. And I mean, Jane, as she put it together, I mean, I mean it's, these guys don't get out much. In fact, if you ever see them in the street, avoid them. They can be dangerous. <laughs> Well, simply today, what we're hoping to achieve is to, to fit these words of Jane's that she's written to uh, a melody that Chopin wrote almost 250 years ago, at a guess. I'm not sure if that's exactly right. But so we've somehow got to make these two things work. No, I mean, it is, I mean, you can't explain what you do, can you, really? I mean, well, maybe you can. Yeah, the, the big myth about jazz is that people just make it up on the spot all up on the spot, yeah. it's simply not true. That we've, got, we've all got things, tricks, melodies, chords that we've played thousands and thousands of times and we continue to use them because they work. A huge amount of risk taking every time you play because these elements will happen in a different order and in a different key, in a different tempo, and on a different piano, in a different room. Mm -hmm. and there's all these, these elements that yeah. are unpredictable and that's the magic. I'd actually like to start it just as if it was... Chopper? Yeah. Absolutely, Paul. You Dead just straight. Do it. So. Absolutely. What, in that key? And no, in... Uh, in his we take key. everything down to your key so there's no cle okay. cleverness going on with key changes. Right. Or
even I was thinking. Certainly, well, what do you think? Certainly opening with just the piano, playing the, the melody, yeah. and then you would come in and do your bit. Yeah, but how yeah. do we deal with about the key business? How do we manage with this key? I can take it down to see. Isn't there another page of this? Oh, that, that's it. Ah, that's yes. it. That's it. Because, yeah. you see, I thought... Oh, I haven't seen I... this page. <laughs> ah, oh, no. I'm sorry. How silly. What I was thinking of... It goes... Um, and my thing ends... Why, 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 why won't you da da ba da 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 ba da ba ba da ba da ba da minding my own business sitting on the loo and I was looking at the jazz festival program because we went to it the year before and I thought oh this is fun and I saw in very small print Fiona Duncan vocal jazz workshop and I thought vocal oh that's singing um right well we'll phone up about this on the first afternoon we had I had my private lesson with Sheila Jordan and I went in and she said because she of course saw a grey-haired woman middle-aged woman coming in thinking well she's been doing jazz all her life so she said to me what do you want feedback from your music so i said oh well actually um i said i'm completely new to jazz and i i mean i suppose she thought good grief you know somebody at her my age doing this so I said, well, I've been doing the Jerome Kern songs at the old people's home. And she said, there's nothing wrong in Jerome Kern. And I thought, oh, good, thank God for that. So then she said, what is jazz to you? So I said, well, I think I'm putting across my song, you know, from my heart, trying to move those people out there. She said, Jane, she said, they want you. And I thought, they want my soul. They want me. And I had to, I, I remember going, I thought, I have to think about this. This is support, my... Oh, no, you've got to keep supporting your world. But how I love you so. How I long to hold you. When I see your van from you. And then the second verse, you see, my mother always said to me, my used to not ever live and leave a man too long on their own. Very, very bad idea. Um, they like us women to be around them. And so this is about the fact that this is a good girl. She allows her man to go away. Um, she knows he's going to be away. She doesn't want to know what happens while she's away. That's why she doesn't ask any questions. And it's not only because she loves him, but because she understands. 
So, a little message for everybody who has travelling partners and husbands. Because I haven't got, I'm not loud. Yeah, pretty much. Vibration. Yes. Oh, that will take a bit off the front, so. Oh my god. It's okay. But where's the tuning? Where's the tuning? Oh, you don't see the tuning, that's. You'd have to put in plugins to see them. Oh, I see. Um, yeah, oh, should we do another one? Oh, well. That little clip can be taken out as well, yeah. so that's not something to worry what about. What clip was that? Oh. If you didn't hear it, then that's oh, good. good. What? <laughs> Did I click? No, 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 it's not you. Well, I tell you what. We're going to have our own little prop. We have our own. <laughs> Get out and stay out. Then the day came for the rehearsal and um, I mean it was just stunning to be with you know highly talented musicians, professional musicians, that's all they do, you know they're not teachers of music, they are professional musicians and I mean it was terribly exciting that cart, that normally calm room was just full of this amazing you know full drum kit, Colin on his trumpet, you know it was just terribly exciting. Right, let's just run that again. My one, my one fear, I was so tired. I mean, I don't know whether that comes over in the video, but I hardly slept at all every night because especially after the, the first night, the fear of not being able to, with this earphone business, not being able to sing properly. There was that fear. Um, and, but fine enough, John was a great, he said, don't worry, the adrenaline will keep you going, and it did. Uh, and after the, after that first day, which was, I mean, I couldn't believe what we did. I couldn't believe it. I can't, can't believe the sound that that sound engineer does with twiddling the knobs. I mean, it's quite, it's, it's such a new world to me. It was such, it was such a learning curve to me. He hasn't got a lot, but he's perfectly content. Oh, you hear too much. Tucked up inside his little pile. Oh, For bar of no. A. No, it wasn't happening then, it was happening in. Well, I, I, because I. Bar is perfectly content. Tucked up inside his little cardboard box. I want to. Just look at that. No way if you had your hand, you'd be better, obviously, because you'd be able to do it. Next one's making you funny. Do they? Yeah, I did. Yeah, he's a with the cans as well. Is that with the cans on you? Yeah. See, that's just 
sounds ghastly. What's more? Come on, Jack. Get it Well, the guys didn't really see them till the day that we did it. So whenever you're doing it for the first time, there's always a little process of how does that go there or how does that fit into this and does that slow down there? So really what we were doing when we were discussing it was how you should play the notes that were written. That's really what we were talking about. Because as I say, they were, f they were fresh from the, the mint. Traveling girl, can't stay home no more. I've packed my bags, closed that door. Nobody's getting at me no more. I'm gonna spread my wings, see a few things where well, nobody bends and I'm a buzz about me. We went off to New Zealand cycling. My husband loves cycling, and I remember Paul Harrison saying, Oh, that's a great time. You can be really having songs you know, going through your head. And I thought, oh, well, we'll, have, we'll see if we can make up a few wee tunes. So I remember on the first sort of day that we were really out cycling, um, I thought, oh, I'm a traveling girl, can't stay home no more. So that was a wee tune that, that came by, and I had a wee notebook in my pocket, and, you know, go struggling up the hills, jot a few wee things down. All that sun will have all of the birds and the bees about you. They'll be up in the sky, rising so high. Be the only ones buzzing on a buzz about you. Don't be a traveling like me, not staying home no more. We'll have packed our bags, close that door, cause nobody's getting at us. Traveling girl, can't stay home no more. I've packed my bed, close that door. No. Well, there was. You know, the various uh, bits. I mean, it was quite nice doing the standards, and but then again, the little quirky songs that Jane had done. With all these asides, these are the bits that got me. Were the little breaks for her uh, interjections? That was quite difficult to do, and uh, uh, we we handled that better than I thought. We I thought we'd have a bit of trouble with that, but uh, it worked uh, better than I thought. And as I say, we got through it. But that that was good fun. Because I definitely love him too. And then you have a two-bar link. Yeah. Now, could I not do? And then we, we have another one. Because I definitely love you too. Now, you can't put a two-bar link in there. Well, the thing is, we're already... Are you just meaning just uh, for the... For us we to just sound already, so good with the band coming. We're already doing that um, three times. Um, that link. You know, if you do it another three times, you're going to be flogging. Are you doing it three times? I'm sorry. Yes. You're going to be flogging a dead horse. Right. Oh, all right. Oh, I, I see what you mean. It's the you same do, thing again. Yeah, if you do it six times. I understand. It's, uh, yeah. And you can't do a solo because it doesn't work like that in this thing. Not in this Because no, there's no tune to it. I understand. That was the amazing thing about Tom, because he would suddenly say, right, we're off. Or he'd say, right, let's get on with it. No chat. Boom. I mean, he didn't, he never, Tom never said, stop that chat. He never said that, because that's the sort of thing that gets people revved up a bit, you see. He doesn't, he doesn't use those words. He said, um, he'll say, right, we'll start now, or something like that. So it focuses you on, on the start, but he never, that was the whole thing. Nobody, that first day, nobody made 
a single negative comment. Every single comment was positive. And I'm talking about Keith on his camera. I'm talking about Bob and Colin and Roy and especially Tom and Tom and Jack Finley, sound engineer, because every single comment anybody made was positive. I mean, we call in Steele saying to me, oh, Jay, we're right behind you. You know, you'll be fine, you know, da, 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 da. They made it, they made it as easy as possible as they could do for me because they knew to have a fun day, which is what we did. We had a hilarious day. Well, I think it's, it's, it's remarkable because say what you like, it's not easy to do that. It's not, especially for her. Um, she's written these things and she also has to perform them and we, we're used to doing it a lot more than her. She's in the middle of it all and we produced, we did it all in a day, well a day and a bit for the other two tracks or three or four tracks that were done solo, but it was done you know in, in short order and done to a good standard and she held together very well as you can see. Uh, between D and E. That's the mallet we're... Is that a bit?
My last one Let's, let's ask the sage. What news from the back room? Very good. Hey, 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 here you go. <laughs> he doesn't give out praise easily. But I always loved music. I can remember from being at my little primary school, um, longing to do music. But I just, you know as a child that it's just, you can't, you've asked once or twice and you, you get the reaction. It's, you know there's something that you're not supposed to do. Um, and um, so I suppose I used to go over to St Andrews um, the weekends where this piano was and I used to long to play on that piano and um, I used to have the excited feeling in your tummy you know before you got even when I was sort of four or five but you didn't tell anybody and um, I can remember my grandmother saying well, I think it's about time Jane did piano and I thought oh am I going to be allowed to have piano lessons but no um, that was not to be. Baba doo da, Baba doo da. My warning bells are out. It's just that sort of emptiness. Each time he holds my hand, I'll have to tell him somehow. I hope he'll understand. Studio, uh, you know, on the last take, but I, I think we should do another one. Yes, yeah. So, so he is well, 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 well. But Tom, yeah, keep that and uh, we'll do another one. Mm -hmm. So, Tom, he goes, he goes, he goes, and then he goes, oh, how I like, keep from telling him. At the end of his solo, he goes, something, you might get to. Yes, I'm, yes, it's exactly that, just a... My warning bells are out. <laughs> <laughs> you sing another bit, well, well, not at the end, but well, not at the end yet. You sing. Oh, no. darn it! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. But we're entirely fine. We're getting 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 we're getting
Well, you, you said yesterday that you wanted the band and... Um, I mean, well, there's not well, a lot of band in this, that's when the little chat bit comes out. Oh yes, yes, that's, that's right, there isn't a lot of band. Now, now that... Da 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 ba 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 da 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 ba ba da da ba da ba da ba da ba da 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 It's going to be, could I take you all once? Drum. Is that right from you? Could I take you all once? Drum. He's a little cutie too. I'd be wavering like a quaver. Very bad behavior. Cause I definitely love him too. Was a, it was a really good, fun couple of days, comical. It had its uh, not too serious, but uh, I think we did, did as well as we could and just got, got a good bit of playing and I thought Jane was an absolute star. I think she's a natural for the screen. Never, ah, never get done. that on that! Get that on that! What was that? I missed that. I've never done six tunes in an hour and a half. Because you wait till you hear them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got the right guys in the place. Six guys. On the keys. Right. Um, I think Tom has some definite ideas about about um, who's right for certain jobs, and I think there was a few criteria for me being chosen for this job. Firstly, I was free, which uh, was is not so surprising, and <laughs> uh, reasonably easy to get on with. I'm not very demanding. I don't have much of a rider. Uh, in terms of requirements um, on any of my recording sessions and I'm also very cheap which helps as well. There was, there was no slap bass required for, for anything that Jane had in mind I don't think but in sunny side of the street I think it is when I'm trading fours as we say with the drums um, I decided to do a little bit of slap on that which I think surprised Jane more than anyone else. <laughs> I don't think she quite knew what was going on. And that's usually the reaction of most of my audiences. They don't really quite know what I'm doing. And, and I think that's the secret of my limited success. Keep them guessing. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, there was doorbells ringing and uh, people crashing about in the, in the corridors. But uh, anyway. But you flushing the toilet was uh, was one of my favourite moments. Uh, I think you were a little late coming in at the beginning of the bar, but other, other than that, uh, yeah. as I say, working with Tom actually is a pleasure. He's he's experienced, he's knowledgeable, and you know as long as he's back in the home by about sort of eleven o'clock, the nurse doesn't usually mind too much, and matrons, you know, 
she's reasonable about it as well. She understands she's got to earn a living and pay the expenses, the medical expenses and everything else. So, yeah, I can't complain. Mm -hmm. The hormone therapy on the go. Well, that's it. Oh, yeah. Well, he's still, it's an ongoing process. You know, he's got to keep te taking the testosterone and whatever else. Um, so. <laughs> the smoke and the room is leaking in And he don't seem to care He can't be happy With just a sip of gin And I still love him When his kisses Got Jim. Fish gotta swim and birds gotta fly. I gotta love one man till I die. Can't love that man. Tell me he's lazy, tell me he's slow Tell me I'm crazy, maybe I know Can't tell nothing but mine <laughs> T.I.O. boy. Country Washburn. It's a country man. We came in time, don't we? Often I've had to caress them Five or ten times How's that? Can you take an effort? Yes! Sorry about the effort for I would like to thank Tom Findlay for this magnificent day. Cool. Tom Findlay, am I speaking clearly, is not I'm only clear. the youngest jazz musician in the whole of Scotland and um, what was I about to say? Well I think that's enough of him. We'll move on to the next guy which is this lovely guy here. Exactly. You put him there. Doesn't he look nice? Now you can yeah. actually look into his eyes and see how proper he is because that's what because <laughs> that's what proper Tom job. said. Ooh, you see? You see? You see? He's the only proper guy here and who was sort of you know doing everything and sort of and of course these double bass guys, they are the unsung heroes. You know, boom, well, boom, boom, nice boom, keeping the whole thing on the road. Nice. Whereas, <laughs> whereas everybody else is fiddling about, you know, they are there. Oh, yeah. And um, what do I know about this whole damn thing? Gibraltar. Now, Colin, could we please get that, those little dimples we want? Right. Dimples. Now, right. How I wish I was 21 all over again, because I could get right in there. <laughs> and, you see, the thing is, once you're over 50, you can do what you like, because everything else is downhill. So, you're not you see, over 50. Oh, oh you are man. getting it! You get a kiss for that! I'm getting a kiss for that! We're getting a kiss for that! He's my friend today. Come to think of it, I'm not driving. <laughs> For the first time in about 13 years, I'm not driving anywhere with my double bits. You say that I'm so lucky. So cheers. Yeah. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Cheeky little number. So what's next for you then, Roy? What, you, um, what's, what, you what day is tomorrow? 
Is it Thursday? Thursday? All day. I've got a gig. Oh yes, I'm playing all day tomorrow. Where are you playing? All day uh, in East Telferton Industrial Estate in Portobello. That it doesn't get great. better than that. That sounds it good. It does not get better than that. And then after that, on Friday, I don't know what I'm doing. I've got something. And then on Saturday, I'm going to Aberdeen mm. to do a wedding. And then nice. on Sunday, I'm doing Dunkeld House Hotel. Good. And then on Monday, who knows? I'll look at my diary. Do you ever get tired of touring about all the time? Yes. Right. You should do that. But you have to, yes. you have to do it. Could somebody make you have stop? to do it. <laughs> <laughs> How do I stop it? I can never seem yeah. to get a gig in town. I think they know, they know too much now. <laughs> so I only can work out of town. She let me hear her, uh, her new CD. I was quite surprised that she wrote all these tunes. You know, and uh, they're really art songs. You know, I know that I did a, a, a CD with Steve Swallow. He wrote music for Robert Creeley Poetry. And uh, it's sort of like that, only a little different. I mean, it's almost like she's talking to you or telling you this story, which is fabulous, you know? I, I think I've, I've known her for a long time. She's been a wonderful friend, not only to me, but to most people. She just is such a wonderful person. And I think I said this earlier, she's so truthful and honest. And I think in the album, I felt that everything was coming straight from her heart. And when you sing from the heart, it goes to the heart. There's no question of that. And I think that comes over very much in the album. I have a little friend outside. She hasn't got a lot, but he's perfectly content. Tucked up inside his little cardboard box. I wonder if I could be like him. I wonder if I could sleep like him without my crown. They all laughed at Christopher Columbus when he said the world was round. They all laughed at Edison recorded song. They all laughed at Wilbur and his brother. Okay, well, this is it, folks. This is it. My CDs. I can't believe it. It's actually two months since Keith and I met. And um, since we made this whole thing. Um, but the other amazing thing is that it's actually exactly a year since I went on the Fiona Duncan Vocal Jazz Workshop. Because actually the course is starting today. And in fact, Sheila Jordan, Sheila Jordan is staying with us at the moment. Um, and I can't believe that, um, I can't believe I've done this. I really can't. And it's thanks to all the wonderful people, um, Tom Finley especially, um, Without, without him, this, this would never have happened. We would never even thought about doing this. Oh, here we are. Oh, I can't believe it. Here we go. Here are all the boys. This, this Bob and Dave Patrick, Colin Steele and Roy. Especially one good one of Roy, because it's mostly his double bass. And then there's all of us. That was on the rehearsal day. Um, and there's Tom and Paul Harrison and um, I love that one of Tom and Colin yeah well here we are Keith we've come to the end of this little journey and it's been a real pleasure working with you and what I've been longing to say from the very start is that as a beauty I am not a star there are others more beautiful by far my face I don't mind it because I'm behind it. It's those that in front get the jar. Bye. Grab your coat and get your hat. Leave your worry on the doorstep. Just direct your feet to the sunny side of the street. Can't you hear a bitter path? And that happy tune is your step. Life can be so sweet on the sunny side of the street. Sun.
Oh, mm-hmm. 